Here it is. So they're going to get a new BR map, E-District. So for those of you who are playing Apex, dude, Apex BR maps always, to me, smack. They're the most appealing maps. They remind, they're very Halo-esque, but damn, do they not always look great. But aim assist nerf in Apex Season 22. Aim assist strength is going to be reduced by 25% for controller players on PC in crossplay uh, lobbies. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more info on this, if you don't mind. Thank you. We're going to take this. We're going to lower this because trust. So we're going to go right here. We go right here. Now I'm going to pull off the AI Grok. Okay. So we got Apex Legends finally nerfing aim assist in Season 22. So we're going to go right here. going to summarize right here. Can you actually, you know what? We don't have to summarize because they, we already got the summary. They're reducing aim assist by 25%. Apex Legends will at last be nerfing aim assist in 22, responded admitting that it is too strong for the last few seasons. However, there's been another constant bug barrier is going to be aim assist with Apex having crossplay lobbies. PC have complimented that their back foot is against controllers. Many pros have even made the switch from keyboard and mouse to controller. So basically they're saying it's impossible to play Apex at the highest level without, without aim assist. So can you list out the pros and cons with using a controller on PC versus mouse and keyboard. I need you to create a compelling argument for both sides. Sorry, my grammar is not the best. It's also why we have AI. This is also in fun mode. Brock, give me some good answers. Absolutely, I'll be delighted to provide a balanced analysis of the pros and cons of using a controller versus mouse and keyboard set up on PC. Let's dive in, shall we? Pros and cons. Comfort and ergonomic controllers are designed with ergonomics uh, to master, intuitive control, portability, immersion. Okay, beautiful. This is exactly what we need. Okay, so cons of using controller: precision and accuracy. While controllers are great for movement, they can't match the precision and accuracy of a mouse when it comes to aiming in first-person shooters or other games that require precision targeting. Limited button layout. Controllers typically have fewer buttons than a keyboard, which can limit, which can be limitations in a game that require lots of keybinds or complex macros. Learning curve: If you're playing games on a keyboard and mouse, switching to controller can take some time to get used to. Yada yada. On a mouse and keyboard, ergonomics, learning curve. The learning curve for mouse and key for me being a controller guy going over mouse and key is definitely going to be the highest. Now, if you reduce the aim this by 25% for controller players does this leave does this excuse me, create a more even playing field for a competitive environment Jesus Christ I cannot spell <laughs> well who's trying to stir the pot here not me I would never reducing the aim assist for 25% for controller players let's break it down and move in for <laughs> oh my god Jesus Christ Elon this is this is what we got going on with this we're making Fortnite references I like it I tip it kudos to you okay one 11 little play a reduction in aim assist could potentially make competitive more balanced between controllers and mouse and keyboard players it might just be the secret sauce to sue those salty tears for keyboard warriors this is not what i thought was going to come at it rewarding skill with less aim assist controller players would need to rely more on their own raw aim skills just like keyboard counterparts this could lead to more skill-based competition where the cream of the crop rises to the top like a well-made latte. Okay, cons. Upsetting the balance. Aim Assist was introduced to bridge the gap between the precision of mouse and limit the movement of the thumbstick. Reducing it could tilt the scales in favor of mouse and keyboard players, making it harder for controller players or controller users to compete. It's like taking away the training wheels for a bicycle. Some might crash and burn. Okay, hold on. When you put it like that, when you put it like that, if AI was going to choose an input, of course it's going to choose mouse and key over a freaking controller. Of course it is. I see, what I, I see the bias here. I think there's an underlying bias here. I think whoever programmed, you know, Grok for Twitter, obviously felt a certain bias because this is definitely not the answer I wanted. That's the only reason why. That's my only evidence. <laughs> Frustration and alienation. If aim assist reduction is too drastic, it could lead to controller players feeling frustrated and alienated. It's a delicate balancing act like juggling flame torches while riding a unicycle. Oh, 
This is, dude, I can just hear Elon reading this to me. Jesus Christ. The key is finding a sweet spot that keeps the competition fair and the players happy, like perfectly seasoned bowl of popcorn. I'm not going to lie. That is not the answer that I thought that Grok would get. But truthfully and honestly, I think in Apex, and, and I know the Call of Duty players or the Call of Duty scene is looking at this like Apex or Call of Duty. Look at Apex. Look at this. See, their player, ba player base is going to increase. And we'll see if it does. But truthfully, I think in about six months, controller players, the people who, who play it, you know, consistently, I think are going to naturally adapt. And I don't even mean like consistently like four to six hours a day. I mean just the, the casual dads who come in and, and play after work. And they'll get used to the adjustment. And I think it's going to ultimately wind up kind of being coming one of these full circle things where people are going to be bitching and saying aim assist is still too strong and it's going to need more of a nerf because they're just it's just going to be a skill gap there's gonna, eventually everyone's going to hit their threshold of where they're at and unless they're willing to put in extra effort and go above and beyond a plus ultra they're not going to get better and i think that's just i think ultimately no matter what call does whether they decrease aim assist leave it the same or buff it even uh i, I don't think anything's really going to change all that much but damn that was not the answer that I freaking wanted. Wait, Pine Park is coming to Florida at Goldflower Dispensaries? My lord. 